when he got called on the flop here. Caution lights in my mind should be going on for this kid. Be careful, you're not playing against Helmuth who you can torture. <laughs> well, he fires again, this time 210,000. Our chip leader, action's on him. He's got ace eight offsuit. He and Phil have been going at it verbally and playing a lot of pots together the last couple days. Well, he makes it 42,000 to go. The local Matt <laughs> folds the hand. He's on the short stack. And now it's around to McLean Carr with a 7-5 goes away. All right, young pro Dan O'Brien out as well. And Hassan Habib going to fold. And now it's around to the former poker brat, now self-proclaimed nice guy, Phil Helmut. <laughs> and he's just got a queen deuce off suit here. All right, I raise. Oh, look at this. Oh, he is coming back over the top with this garbage hand. He has to punish the youngster to his left. Just wants to let him know who's boss, Vince. Andy Seth only been playing poker for four years. 85 more. His roommate is Faraz Jaka. We know him as the toilet. Well, the re-raise is 85,000 more. And Helmuth covering up. And what is the youngster going to do? Well, it's one of the bright young stars of poker. Versus one of old school's best. Well, he's coming back over the top. An additional 140 into Helmuth. Vince, it's like he could see his cards and knew that Helmuth was making a move here. What timing to make a re-raise here by Andy Seth. So this is what I think is, this is my prediction for the folks at home. And he and I are going to put in five bets each. And at the end of the hand, I'm going to show down tens. And he's going to show down like ace jack for all the money. And everybody's going to say, why did you guys play so crazy? That's my prediction. Phil says he's trying to relax more at the table, but you can just see there's an absolute rage going on underneath. Well, my prediction is Phil's going to fold this hand, and that was pretty easy oh. to predict. <laughs> Show a three. Make me happy. So nicely done. No shows today. By the chip leader. Really? Wow, I can't believe that. Where am I going to get my entertainment from? This banter? <laughs> we'll have fun today. <laughs> so what, what's the official count now of uh, Andy versus Phil? We're even, we're even, right? We're even, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think you look at the count at the end of the day today. Ooh. That's where you look at the count. Oh, okay. Back to this hand, Matt. I see if I, if I can get him to ship five, 600 in like I'll side queen bet you deuce. That I, I'll side <laughs> bet you that I finish higher in this tourney than you. You have two to one ships. So what kind of price do you want? You are the best in the world. I don't want to make a bet to encourage you to slow down. You're a very fast player. Look at this. Helmuth going after Andy with the talk. That was a very good statement Phil just made, though, and I agree with him. Why make last longer bets when a guy tighten up on you? All right, Dan O'Brien's made it 38,000. Everyone folds. Helmuth in with a 9 8 of clubs. And he goes away. Two way action, Mike. He's three up against 9 8. Here we go. Flop comes 10, 7, 5, all spades. Helmuth checks. Yeah, he has an open and straight draw, but no flush draw. And he's going to make the continuation bet of 47,000 here. With absolutely nothing, and he's going to get a call. Queen of spades comes on the turn. Neither player has a spade, but so Phil could get bold here. Now well, he's reaching for chips, Vince. Uh, I love poker. He's going to lead out. At 50,000 here into a pot that's got nearly 200,000 in it. And that's the brilliance of Phil Helmut right there. The suspected his opponent didn't have a spade, thought a small bet might win that pot. Indeed, it did. Crazy. Shows the poker class of Phil Helmut. And he is enjoying that bluff. Mm -hmm. Look at this, <laughs> the smirk. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Free 50 bucks added to your account to the first 100 people who sign up. Simply follow these three steps. Click the link down below in the YouTube description, make a new account with bonus code YT73, and deposit at least $1. That's it, $50 will be added to your account, but act fast, only to the first 100 people. The rage inside, he just wants to get these young guys and take hold of his title, you just feel it. Well, Vince, the only thing missing from Phil Helmuth's poker resume is a WPT title. Yeah. He definitely wants to win tonight. All right, so the next hand we go, McLean Carr folding. Dan O'Brien also going out. Over to Hassan Abib. 
Looks at an A6 offsuit. Just folded the A6 of spade where it had the nut flush, but he's going to raise it here. Makes it 41,000 to go. What do you have us on? 400? Yeah, four something. I'll make it 107,000. Uh, Phil feeling the momentum here. He's going to raise with that. Makes it 170,000 to go. Look at this match right behind him. The youngster has picked up Ace King. What to do with that hand? A raise and a re raise, and now you got Ace King. Mullen. That's what you do with that. Well, you got the uh, chip lead, so no. you say all in. Matt goes out. Son folds his hand. That's a that's a real ooh there. <laughs> Back to Helmuth now. If he gets stubborn here to try to challenge the youngster, it could be tapioca pudding for the great Phil Helmuth right here. He is dominated. Is this the time, kid? Is this the time I'm supposed to get a million from you? Not exactly, Phil. <laughs> I feel like you're weak. I have the heart. Now, to me, this is just fluff and puff time. No chance he can make this call for all his money with just King Queen. Phil Helmuth made some great calls in his day based on gut instinct. If indeed his gut tells him to call here. This will be one heck of a call if I make it for us. It's going to be a beautiful thing. I'll have like three million, I guess. <laughs> I think he's weak. I can't believe he wants to. Uh, well, Vance, if he calls here, he's liable to be calling a cab to go home. <laughs> this is just Phil just like liking to hear his voice. <laughs> you know, it's just. And he finally does the obvious, folds the hand. You're right, Vance. So the chip leader getting richer there by coming over the top yeah, boy. of both guys. Wow. <laughs> I think I made a bad lay down. I really do. That's insane. Uh, he's already put in uh, a million and 250 against me. We haven't played a round yet. And, and I haven't, and he's ahead of me in chips. I don't know why you're complaining to him. Who do you think taught it to me? Dude, nice play. Thank you. Now, if you're over 40, nice can you play. say dude to someone? I don't think you're allowed. <laughs> I give you credit. Good play, man. I didn't realize you wanted to go this high. Wow. Oh, Vance. Phil's trying to present a new image here, but he just can't help himself. All right, this is an exciting final table here at the Bay 101. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really like your chances to win because you're so reckless, but now I do. Go to the next hand. I didn't. I figured you have a, you could still finish fifth or sixth, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's possible, right? No, but look, he's shipping like uh, 250 a million every hand. He raised every pot, re raised every pot. No one in the history of poker has won like that. No one. That's the truth. Andy's made great re-raises in both the last two hands. Well, look at this. Everyone's folded to Andy. Again, he's going to raise. Makes it 42,000 with just a 10-6. And now the local pro, Matt. No, he can't play that hand. So the only one to beat is McLean Carr, who has a king-queen. He's made the call, so we got king-queen up against 10-6. And flop comes Jack, 6-4. And he does take the lead now as he's flopped two sixes. McLean checks. It's crazy. And Andy with a quick bet. Looks like 55,000. Vince, I got to tell you, how much criticizing this kid's play, I give him a gold star. Doing a great job. I'll be honest. I, I didn't think Andy would make it at a day two or day three. Oh, boy. How many bitter. This is sick. How much Andy taking the chips. Stay with us. Pretty frustrating, huh? Six players remain here at the Bay 101. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. <laughs> All right, Asana B brazen under the gun with an ace jack as Helmuth goes out. Well, Asana's had sort of a tight image so far at this final time. Most, of, most people lay down the ace 10 here, but not this kid. He's coming right over the top again. This time for 107,000 with an ace 10 offsuit. Yep, Matt out. Clean car also goes out. Dan also out. Son quickly folds the ace jack. Doesn't even think about it. So what a play by the youngster there. And Vince Helmut may be criticizing this play, but I'll tell you, it's hard to criticize anything he's done so far at this final table, in my mind, playing flawlessly. Everything's going right for Andy Seth out of Illinois. Now a poker pro out of Vegas. To the next hand we go, Dan O'Brien folding Hassan out. With a Phil Helmuth here, he looks down at a 10-7 offsuit. 46. Another junk hand he's going to raise with, 46,000. 
keeps trying, splashes those chips around into his young nemesis, Andy Seth, who's got, who's got just a 10-9 offsuit. He's making the call. He's also got chips, and he's got position on Helmuth, and right now it feels like he owns him, so he's going to gamble and play here. Matt's out, but McLean Carr with a queen jack in the big blind. Well, he's going to join the party here, so we're going to have three-way action. All right, here's the flop. What a flop for McLean. He's flopped three queens. It's come queen, queen, deuce, and he quietly checks. Yep. And here comes Helmuth. Making the continuation bet. Not a big bet, though. It's like 50,000 into a pot. It's got over 150,000 in it. You guys would have disappointed me if I checked, right? <laughs> McLean chuckling it up with his three of a kind. Well, and he's going out. McLean's going nowhere. He makes the call, does not re-raise with the three queens. He just wants to continue throwing Helmut some rope. Now the nine hearts comes off. This gives McLean a flush draw as well as three queens. Quickly checks again. Oh, boy. Well, the great Phil Helmuth made that great feeler bet, but 90. you're supposed to get a read with those feeler bets, but obviously that one sailed over his head as he fires again on the turn. 90,000 this time. Remember, he's got no card in his hand he can win the pot with. Well, it's hard to get these new school guys to fold. What does that mean, Phil? <laughs> Do you want to call it or fold? Honestly, I'd, I'd, I kind of prefer you'd fold. <laughs> Even the... Oh, the truth is going to hurt here, Phil. OK. Oh. Uh -huh. Of course, he gets the call. The complete discomfort of Phil. Now the king of clubs comes off. A possible straight, but McLean again checks the three queens. Oh boy, he is just setting up the poker, Brad, just beautifully. Will Phil go forward three times in a row and make an official car crash? The only way he can bet here is if he specifically puts his opponent on something like two fours or two fives and thinks another bet will get him off the hand. 190. He's going to do it. That was a pretty confident 190, Phil. Prefer I fold. Wow. Ain't taking a long time to make this call here. Probably not going to raise it, but surely can't possibly lay this hand down, can he? No, you would not think so. Good call, you got it. And it makes the call. Phil says you've got it. Nothing. Nothing? Okay. So McLean Carr taking down that pot and playing it nicely by allowing Helmut to walk deeper and deeper into the quicksand. Good call. Oh, yes, he says good call. And like the song, Mama said there'd be days like this, Phil. He is spinning out of control underneath. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Well, so far tonight, youth is prevailing at this table. The three guys in their 20s are chip leaders, led by Andy Seth with 2.5 million. McLean Carr has about 1.3 million. Dan O'Brien, just under a million. To the money pit we go, Hassan Habib. Originally out of Pakistan, now living in L.A., picks up ace nine in first position. Doesn't even think about it, a quick fold. 48,000. Well, Phil Hummus got an ace four. He not only thinks about it, he raises it to 48,000. Yeah, but to his left, the young nemesis, Andy Seth with ace queen. Well, man, in fairness to Phil Helmut, this guy has held over Phil all night tonight so far. Here he's got ace queen. My guess is he's going to raise it again. Sure enough, he sticks in the raise, makes it 133 to go. Matt quickly folds his hand. McLean out. Yep, Dan O'Brien not going to play. Phil Helmuth biting his lip here. All right, buddy. <clears throat> nice hand. He does throw his hand away. Yeah, he's just being manhandled now by this Andy. They don't want to let me win a single pot. That's so brutal. Wow. So, so brutal. <laughs> oh, he's like Dangerfield. I get no respect. I'll tell you one thing. Phil Helmuth's like a teapot, and the lid's about to blow off right now, I think. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's being tortured by the 23-year-old. All right, to the next hand we go. <laughs> Clean car. Now he's got the ace queen this time. He's going to raise it under the gun. He comes in for 38000 Into Dan from New York. He goes out. Well, Hassan looks at a 10-4. He's out as well. Yep. Helmuth's going to rest. Yes. 
Back to the chip leader. This time he looks down at a 3-5 offsuit. How much did you start the handling? I think about 1.2, a little more. Well, Helmuth needs to pay attention here because he's not just picking on Helmuth. Look at this, Vince. He is going to re-raise here with the 5-3 offsuit. Unbelievable. Well, he's in such a zone right now. He thinks he can do no wrong. He makes fun of Helmuth. He holds over everyone. He makes moves. And this time, he's pushing with 5-3. Well, what do you do now with an ace-queen? With a guy that seemingly re-raises every pot. Well, you call him. That's what you do. Yeah. At least that's what McLean's doing. Yeah. Got to do that with ace-queen. Here goes the flop. Nice flop from McLean as he swapped two aces. It comes ace jack seven with two clubs. Action is on our chip leader, Andy Seth. And he's reaching for chips to make a continuation bet here, Vince. Certainly is 122,000 into the young guy. McLean Carr, age 28. Got this tournament through a satellite. He majors in operations research at the Air Force Academy. That's applied mathematics. He's called it with the aces. Going to walk the dog a little bit. A five on the turn. Now that gives Andy a pair of fives here. He could now win the pot of a five or a three comes up. And he's first to act again. Vince, when he got called on the flop here, caution lights in my mind should be going on for this kid. Be careful. You're not playing against Helmuth, who you can torture. <laughs> He fires again, this time 210,000. Let's see what McLean's going to do. He's going to call him again. Yeah, just an okie dokie call. Yeah, he's afraid the guy might have ace king or ace jack here. Maybe flop the set of jacks, taking the cautious route. The board pair of sevens now. So McLean out in front with aces up. Action back on Andy. Well, he's finally going to check it. So McLean put in a value bet here. Try to take some more off the chip leader. No, he's going to check too. He yeah. got it. I don't have anything. And he says he has nothing now. In fact, he's got two pair. Well, I mean, his opponent had a flush draw or a straight draw. Two fives would be the best hand. Yet he's mucking this hand without well, even seeing what, what McLean has. You can, you can ask to see it. I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter. McLean mucking his hand right behind him. They want to see the winning hand. I am shocked that Andy would muck that hand when, in fact, he could have had the best hand. Well, the young in the press finally taking a hit there. Stay with us. Six players remaining at the Bay 101. Coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Free 50 bucks added to your account to the first 100 people who sign up. Simply follow these three steps. Click the link down below in the YouTube description, make a new account with bonus code YT73, and deposit at least $1. That's it. $50 will be added to your account, but act fast, only to the first 100 people. Andy finally going out. Matt Kekawan, hometown favorite, 42 years old, also folds. With McLean Carr, he's going out as well. And now Dan O'Brien. Dan has an ace jack, has feel dominated here. I'm just staring down straight at the table, hoping everybody goes away. Got about the same amount of chips, but look at this. Surprisingly, Dan folding his hand. Unlike Andy Seth, he gives Helmuth respect. He lays it down. And now Phil has to beat Hassan, and he's going to do it. You were thinking about popping me? Thought about it. Wow. I might lay it down. I mean, I have a jack five. I believe you. Well, I believe Helmuth would have laid it down if he got re-raised. And right now, the Andes are going up to 3,000. Blinds now 10 and 20,000. Is going to the chip leader, the 23 year old Andy Seth. And he's going to peek down at a King Deuce off suit and he's going to take a breather. He folds a hand. Matt Kekowan, this time with an A6 of diamonds. Matt, a local pro, seemingly we have a local pro every year at the final table of the Bay 101 tournament. Matt said he was here on day one when they opened the Bay 101. Here he's going to open the pot for 44,000. Yep, very tight player. Clean is going out. Dan O'Brien also folds. Well, Hassan out as well. So a round to the big blind, which is Phil Helmut. He has an ace four. They used your first. And he's going to look him up, as we say. He makes the call. 
So we have a6 to the local. Phil Helmuth with eighth four. Here's the flop. Flop comes king, king, queen. No help to either player. Helmuth checks. Matt checks right behind him. Number five comes off on the turn. Well, Helmuth's going to lead out and take a stab at this pot here, it looks like. 48,000 into the very, very tight mat. Well, there's nothing here. Now look at this, Vince. He calls here because I believe he thinks the ace high might be the best hand. He might put Helmuth on something like 10-9 or Jack-9 or Jack-10. Well, the four clubs comes off on the river. Phil Helmuth now has the best hand with kings and fours and checks. But Matt is reaching for chips here, Vince. And I think most players would be happy to check it down thinking Helmuth had Jack-10 or Jack-9 or something where the ace high might be good, but he's betting here. 97th down, he's going to get Helmuth off the best hand. Unbelievable. What a bet by the guy. He shows Helmuth the wow. ace Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Not showing the bluff. Helmuth. Oh, I can't believe it, man. No. I can't believe the guy called him on the turn and bet on the river. He gets a big cheer for that one. Man. He got you. Man. I had you beat. The aggravation continues for Phil. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Wow. God. The play so crazy. They're just all beating on him right now. He called 46,000 to bluff me on the river. Oh, such aggravation for him. Well, he says he's burying the poker brat, but I believe he's going to have to dig awful deep to bury that guy. All right, let's go to the table. Matt quickly folds his hand. Clean car with an 8-3, also folding Dan out as well. Around to Hassan on the button. Wow, you guys have thrown the gauntlet down. Nice play, buddy. So it opens up to Phil. Very nice play. And let's take a look at his cards. He's got a pair of queens here, a pair of ladies. Big hand for Phil home within the battle of the blinds, and he just limps in and calls, nice trying play. to set the trap. Yes, he is, but Andy behind him with a pretty good ace jack of clubs. Well, Vince, everybody would raise with this hand when the small blind limps in. This could be the war that Phil has been waiting for. Yeah, for sure it is, no doubt about it. And he's coming back with a raise. And he's made it 89,000 to go. Phil would love to get the revenge on this 23-year-old who's been mocking him all evening, humiliating him. Well, Vince, no doubt Phil's gonna come over the top, just a matter of how much. I raise it. Oh, there's one for the seniors. Well, there you go. Two hundred. Two hundred thousand is the re-raise. Andy Seth has owned him all night, but do you suspect that Helmuth has a big hand here after limping in out of the small blind and now re-raising you, the chip leader, when you're in position? Andy, only 23 years old, only been playing poker for four years. He's on some roll here tonight. He has been torturing Phil. You gotta think this is at least a call. All in. Oh, boy. And he's going all in. Well, there you see Phil's emotions. He's afraid the guy's got ace or kings. I have a bad feeling you have kings. I just don't know what I can do about it. He's getting paranoid. He's getting punchy from the kid. Well, Vince, you always fear that when you've got two queens in this spot, that the guy's got you beat. But I don't see there's any way you can get away from his hand. I guess there's nothing I can do about it. And there goes Chips. Yeah, he's going to make the call. And Phil's going to love this. Well, as the card lies, about a two-to-one favorite to double up, so all the misery that he's faced so far tonight can be righted right here, right now. He'll be just about the chip leader if he wins this pot, Vince. Good hit. Yeah. And still has to hold up. The rivalry has been going on all night long. Andy and Phil. Andy getting the best of it right now. Phil out in front. Stay with us. We're coming back to the exciting conclusion of his hand in just a moment on the World Poker Tour. See here, a pair of queens. He is all in up against Ace Jack. Well, he's about a two to one favorite to win this pot and get back to where he started this final table in second chip position. Let's see if the Queens hold up. If not, he'd be out in sixth place. So far, so good as it comes King 6 5. Helmuth out in front with the two Queens. A little justice right there on that flop. Still has to sweat two more cards. Queens out in front. Here comes the turn. Well, a 10 comes off. Now that means a Queen to give Andy a straight. Phil's got the defense. He's got, he's got the defense. 
He's got the defense. So Andy needs an ace or a queen. Helmuth, a huge favorite to double up here and get back into second chip position. Yeah, the kid needs the big suck out. Don't do it to Helmuth here. Oh, an ace on the river. He did it. A dagger in the heart for Phil Helmuth on the river. He is stunned, shocked as everyone else in here is as he takes a beat on the river to get knocked out in sixth place. Good play, buddy. Well done. Well Sorry, done. But you've got to give it to him. He's being a gentleman. He takes a horrible beat there, but he shakes hands. I can't express you how much of an honor it was to play with you, especially my first big final table film. Incredibly, Phil Helmuth is out in sixth place. Going to pick up 117,000. Looks like a good sport now. Shaking hands with everybody, congratulating them all. <laughs> As it is, he's devastated because he had a great shot to win a WPT title tonight. Just didn't happen, Vince. It was a nightmare for him. Now he's holding his head, and now he is sick. <laughs> Oh. Now, many players feel like Phil acts like a baby sometimes. They'll be saying, oh, give him his blankie and pacifier or something. Damn it, Andy, now you got the, the Bounty Hunter Award. Look at him, dude. Look at him. Look at him. He's right there on the ground. I think he's just emotionally devastated for getting knocked out of this tournament that he wanted to win so badly. I'm actually a little worried here. I mean, he's in a fetal jailhouse kind of position. Mm. This is very strange. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Jesus crowd God. doesn't know if he's acting, if he's seriously ill. No. Can no. take a picture with him? <laughs> oh. He doesn't want it. There's some kind of poetic justice to it, though. Oh, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. See, see, this is, the, this is how the new school beats the old school. We just get in and hit. <laughs> Waited for this guy. Finally back up. He looks like he's okay. Yeah, now he's walking out. Gets a nice ovation from the crowd, even from the players. It doesn't feel fair to me. It doesn't feel right. You know? I mean, I'm just playing so good, and uh, I don't understand how he could play that bad. Whatever, I got lucky. Yeah, yeah, it's over now. Like... I don't know how he could stick 800,000 with Ace Jack. I mean, it's just not right. You know, I mean, I'm not, it's just, I'm devastated. It's just, it's really not even right. I mean, I just trapped the guy so good. Is he just over there talking <laughs> about me the whole time? Well, not like hardcore. The one either. thing I keep hearing from the world is that I've never won a World Poker Tour tournament. But I love the World so Poker Tour, and me. it was a great tournament with a great structure, and uh, I did the best I could. So here comes Matt Savage with the cold, hard cash that you get for knocking out a bounty. Thank you. No signature? Nobody had the balls. No one had the balls. <laughs> no one had the balls. I'm sorry. You're also supposed no to get a signed t-shirt. Matt. It's like the surgeon doesn't like to tell the family when he loses a patient either, but I think you got a job to do. You got to get that shirt signed. It's a tough job, and you're the man. You're the guy in charge. Want to sign a shirt? I do, but I feel like huh? I'll... <laughs> Let's forget it, Jesus. You do you want to sign? I would like it signed, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty memorable. I mean, it's part of the, it's part of the deal everyone signed up for. Just forget about it. Huh? Well, I mean, I could get it signed later. I'm positive yeah, he'll sign it for me yeah, when he cools later. down. There he is. He's coming back. He's recovering nicely, it looks like now anyway. Waving to the crowd. That's that, buddy. He's gonna sign the shirt, but I'd be a little careful. You remember how Joe Pesci stuck the pin in that guy's neck in that movie? He's a little careful right now here. Still a pin in his hand, but... No, he does sign it. He's a good sport. Shaking hands again. Oh, man, you gotta say, he's trying to bury the poker brat. At least he's throwing one shovel of dirt on the grave right now anyway. Maybe this is a look-alike, because Phil is probably wrecking his room right now. This is just a look-alike. Ah, well, he's bowing down, thanking the crowd for their support. A stunning development here, as many thought Phil Hummuth would win his first WPT title tonight. Instead, he's out in sixth place after taking a bad beat on the river. And we saw the Phil Hummuth meltdown. We do have five players left. Going after close to 900,000 at the Bay 101.